Welcome to I Love Stocks and today I'm going to talk about three tickers but please first subscribe ring that bell for future updates and if you like this video hit that like button but there's three tickers that I want to talk about today and that's going to be Tesla, Square, and W and there's a reason behind all of them I'm really excited about Tesla right now so let's go ahead and pull up a little Tesla website I always like to pull this up really into solar, solar. One day I'm going to grab me one of these Model S's. Very excited about that. It's almost to my employee number at 401. But definitely we've had a beautiful breakout. Uh, Elon tweeted, wrote an email last week that they might be profitable the next quarter. So that sounds kind of interesting and that's what give this uh, stock a big pop that it's had. So let's go ahead and go straight to the Tesla stock. See what chart I want to use. And we'll start off with this one here on the yearly. I'm going to have to start cleaning this chart up pretty soon, draw new support and resistance lines. So let's go ahead and see what we got here, and then I might just go ahead and clean it up and start fresh. Some of the numbers will probably be a little bit different than before, but let's see what we got on the year. Yeah, it's time to clean up. So let's do that. Let's remove all lines. We're going to try to find some support levels. So we definitely got one right here. This previous high we had right here. I'm going to draw that. Oh. I like to draw that line right in there. Resistance at 1025. That was that previous high that we had before. Then I'm going to go down here. Now let's look at the chart on the year. That next support is going to be one that we built today. We'll just magnify this up. Right there, 180.53. I mean 1080.53. Then I'll make find another support area. I'm thinking right there at 987.44. I don't think we're going to get too much lower than that. If it does, it's going to be a crapshoot, and that's going to be a buy signal. And that's going to be right down here, right at this level right here at 952. So we'll just go ahead and keep that 950 as a low support. Now we're going to bring this to the 20-day. See if I missed anything in this 20-day. You had them three white soldiers right here. I see a little bit of support level right there at 109. I see one right here at 1065. Then we got a pennant flag right here. You see the pennant flag forming on the daily one minute or the daily hour. It's kind of like a pennant flag. I'm going to go ahead and draw a support line right in here at that place right in there. So I like to get them in here on these engulfing candles because they're so high, but I'm going to stick with that 1050 low support. I will go right, no, I'll go right here at 10, 1048, and I'll draw another one right here off those three white soldiers. Then we got a lower one right down here at 994. Actually I'm going to bring it up to this resistance level right in here. See that? Bam! So we got that done. Let's look at the 20 day again. See if I missed anything. Right here at 1017. See that? These resistance levels that we hit right in here and then we consolidated right in there so that's pretty solid so we're going to draw this one up there's going to be a little window right in here we're that high at 10 30 59 and i'm going to go ahead and do this on the 20 day i want to be able to see that took that off there we go 
color that in. Ten thirty fifty nine to ten thirty seven. That's going to be a solid support right there. Well, didn't do it. Let's try it again. So I got a low support in this uh, this third engulfing candle right here at ten thirty fifty nine for a pullback, and this other channel right in here is going to be your first probably your first support area if it does pull back to this 1080 so this between 106550 and 1080 and we'll go ahead and color that in too because I kind of like that for the second support channel and then we're going to have a resistance to break up here at this line up here so I'm going to change that around and this is how we're going to call the trade but I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to look at the daily one minute see if I missed anything on there we got the one hour Person should come in here and draw one right about in here. And this will be your first support channel. And we'll probably fail that, so we'll bring it down here. Right there. Okay, low support, strong buy. I'm raising it above 1,000. Anything below 1,000 is going to be a very strong buy. But for right now, I'd like to see it stop right here, right around the 1030-59 area to 1037-21 for your load third strong buy support. And your second support channel is going to be right in here between 1065 and 1080-53. And then that first support channel is going to be right here between 1104-73 and 1111-69. And I'm going to color that one in. So those are going to be the three support channels. right there okay low support 1030 59 to 1037 21 second support channel if you see consolidation you might start to think about that we could have a retracement back up that's going to be between 1065 50 and 1080 53 with your first support channel right here between 1104 73 and 1111 69 with a resistance to break of 1131 77 we get past that we'll get up to new highs and we'll break that 11.35.33 but we're going into a three-day weekend there's not going to be that many traders the volume is going to be small tomorrow so we're just going to hopefully we can keep this in the trend if not that will just be the case but no lower than this 10.30.59 area and that's going to be Tesla the next one we're going to talk about is going to be another one it's called how do I get zoom on there? Get rid of that. Square. Square's had a beautiful run. Beautiful call this today with Miss Vegas. We were pounding on it all day long to the new highs, and we're going to take a look at it. First, we're going to take a little look at the news. See if there's anything in here on Square that we like. Square Wayfair ride to stock markets, e-commerce wave higher. So this was the big catalyst today. And plus, we've been kind of bullish on Square for a while now. But I think this stock's really going to start moving. And I'm going to talk about W here in a second. But the uh, coronavirus has really given this a good catalyst to run. I do believe that the gig economy is going to start really taking effect with the new economy that we're going to be having. So, you know, personally, if you have any good hobbies or interests that you like, it might be good to pursue a field in that career because, you know, it's time to be your own man, your own person, start your own business. And I think that's what we're going to see in the next 10 years. I've been a sole proprietor for most of my life. It's a good feeling to have your own business. And it's a better feeling when you're more profitable. And my second business now is I love stocks. My first business is janitorial business. So let's go ahead and look at the chart. And we're going to be talking about square. Let's go ahead and pull up the yearly first. And it looks to me like I've more or less got this charted for that low support right there. In fact, I'm going to erase that and magnify that up. 
I'll magnify it up so I can get a real good look at it. There we go. See how much better it is, more cleaner it is. 106.72. Then we have a little support right down here, right around the 93, 91.93. Now this got a bunch of upgrades in the price, and I'm going to show that to you back on the news. I think we can show it right here. Fifty-two week high. Got a price target to one twenty from ninety. Got another price target to one twenty-one from sixty-nine. These came out today. Got another price target at one twenty-one. We got a price target to one twenty-five that came out on the twenty-ninth. And then another one right here to ninety. Being very conservative with that ninety. So I'm going to keep that in my in my mind because that could be a key very strong buy if it ever did pull back to that area and we are right here at 91.93 so yeah they found that little consolidated area that they thought was kind of a little bit interesting I see another support right here I'm gonna write that down just under a hundred bucks so let's go ahead and pull up the 20 day now and see if we can find anything different in here I always like to put that 20 day low support in there just in case but I think we're going to go to new highs. Tomorrow's going to be a new day. You always look at it that way when you come in in the morning. So we're going to kind of pull this up to the one minute daily now, see if I missed anything at all. We have a resistance level of right around 117.03. I have a little spot right in here. I'm going to go ahead and chart. And I'm going to color that up in blue. That's going to be a kind of a little support channel. Then the second support channel is going to be right here. That first one's going to be right in here. I'm going to draw a trend line right there. See how we consolidated pretty near much of the day right in here? Then at the end of the day, we had the big breakout to 117. So I'm going to color that area and also. Right there so these are going to be the three support channels I like to see it stay right in here to this first support and maybe start to bounce up and create new highs we do have another support level right here at 115.57 and I'm going to put that in there for your very first support let's get that in there bam right there okay if we hold this first support, we're going to go higher and break to 117.13. If we hold that 115.67, if not, the next support channel is going to be 113.84 to 114.69. And actually, I could almost bring this back down to this lower support right down here too. So I'm going to, I'm going to enhance. I'm going to enhance this. this. This upper level here is very critical to stay into this low support channel of 113.18. It's very important we try to do that. <clears throat> so let's mark this. We've got a 105, 106 to 106.72 for a low, low scenario. Now our second low scenario is going to be right at 109.82 to 111.15. But I think we're going to keep in this channel right in here. If it does pull back, we're going to hit the high of 114.69 for a strong buy with a pivot point in this channel of 113.84 and then 113.18. With a resistance to break, if we hold this support at 115.67 on past this 117.13 into the new highs and the target will be one little under 120 and that's going to be square so keep a good eye on square and we're going to look at W 
W is another one that had a big gain today. And we're going to see what they're all about. Wayfair. July clearance. So here you go your, your e-commerce. If you ever decided to use this website, go ahead and look it up. There's your Wayfair. Let's see what kind of news it's had here lately. Square Wayfair ride to stock market e-commerce wave higher. So that's what we just read and talked about. Internet indispensable with new norm to 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 new normals. And I do believe, and I'm serious. We're Retailing is going to be mostly a lot online from here on out. This whole economy is going to change and you need to grasp a hold of it. Next 10, 15 years, it's going to be, man, I wish I was 20 again. I know what I'd be doing. But we'll go ahead and check it out. Let's look at the chart and see if we can find some supports. Now, you notice the price target on Square was higher. Or you're going to notice the price targets on W are lower. So we're going to, I'm going to look at it like this. I think we're going to have a pullback into to Monday. Tomorrow we might pull back a little bit on it. And let's just take a good look at it right here, okay? Find what chart I want to use. I'll just use this one right. No, we'll, yeah, let's look at the uh, moving averages, the 50 and the 200 on W for the yearly. What a great bounce on the ride that this had. And let's look at the yearly for right now and just take a look at it. From 2170, this stock has run all the way up with the Corona breakout. This is a stock that we did miss in this long run. Although I have charted it up before. Man, <laughs> I hate to see what this says. Back to the 200 EMA. 170 maybe so that must be an old trade right there let me go ahead and delete all this garbage and we'll start fresh go ahead and put a chalk line right there at 192 I'm drawing some trend lines in here. I'm trying to look for places of consolidation. And I got a little resistance level here. I use the bases of candles where there's strength and the wicks always tell a story. We got one. Oh, I like this spot right in here. Okay. So let's pull this up on the 20 day now. See if I missed anything. Kind of a choppy little ride. Do you see what I mean by volatility? We had a nice little run today. We had a double top breakout. Right here at 219, almost at 220. Let's see where these price targets are on this thing. We have a 208 from 163. We have a 215. 208, 215, 190 for low case scenario. 225. So yeah, a little bit, kind of a huge spread there. Kind of a huge spread. So let's see what we got here. We've got a support level right in here that I really like. This one right in here for your first support. I'm going to color that in, this little channel right in here. I'm coloring it in because we've touched down, we broke out, we've had highs here, we've touched down there and we've touched down there. So I'm going to take anything and everything that's above that gap there. It's got the 200 uh, SMA right here. So it could pull back to that 200 on the 20 day one hour. And I'm thinking definitely going to be in this channel right in here. So let's go ahead and make that a support level.
right there. The next support is going to be right here. I'm going to change that back. That's going to be right, right there. So we got a resistance. We got targets on this to 125 to 225 to 220, and we also got targets of under 190, and that's way back down here in the 192 area. So we low support is going to be this little scenario right here. We got a head and shoulders right here and we did pull back a little bit under that shoulder length and now she's bounced back up and had them big engulfing candles these are some of the best engulfing candles that I like to see when I'm chasing a stock and a lot of times it depends on the momentum but we did try to break the double top today and we were unsuccessful with it I do believe we can pull back to supports so we got three different support levels we got one here at two let's go ahead and chalk this one right in here Let's go to the minute. I want to see if I missed anything on the daily one minute. We are starting to pull back a little bit, but not much. <clears throat> right in here. First support scenario is at 217.03. The second one's going to be at 213.93. And then the third, third one's right here at 210.37. Now, if that 210.37 doesn't hold, will drop down to these lower supports. But for right now, and this could be adjustable. Ooh, what I miss right here? See where we had this high right here, and then we had that pullback? That could have been very critical right there. So we're going to make this a low support channel between the 210.37 and the 211.95 now that I put that new line in there. First support 217.03, 213.93 with a 210.37 and a 211.95 to hold. Anything below that's going to be a strong buy, and we do have a real strong buy down here at 196.42. If this doesn't hold, we'll go down to the 206.72 and maybe plop right down here to this 202.48. But I don't see that happening. And who knows? Like I said, I think this is going to pull back a little bit. Square might bounce a little bit. And I'm going to chalk that in right there. Okay, low support 210.37 to 211.95. The next support level is going to be right here at 213.93. Then we've got the 217.03, and that's it. And that's it for today's stocks, Tesla square and w i hope you all enjoyed the video always never hurts to watch them over once or twice <laughs> and you can really understand what i'm talking about but each lesson each video i do i like to make it a lesson because i like to look for supports pivot points and resistances and i have a feeling i've done over a million charts so i kind of have a feeling of how the candles lie and how the how the patterns how the patterns lie i'm a technical trader and the fundamentals, I kind of just throw them in the back seat, but I do pay attention to the news. That's a very important catalyst when I'm making a day trade or I'm making a swing trade or a scout. So I wish everybody a great day. Let's go ahead and hit the Twitter button. If you have a Twitter account, please follow us. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here today. We did real good with that Tesla call. It was just a beautiful little call today. Posting alerts in here all the time. We got Zoom in here, or ZOM, and Empty and Glue. We got some more right down here. So, well, there's a washboard gym chart, the SPY. Triple bottom call that we made today. It bounced right up off that triple bottom. So, yeah, our Twitter account can be very useful. And also, we also have our stock twits. So, if you ever want to hit the stock twits link, hit that follow button. I've got 28,800 followers. Miss Vegas has a few herself. You can hit her little thing right here, hit her icon, and hit her follow button. And this is the Aftermarket Report with Washboard Jim. And we wish you all a great holiday. Please be safe. Don't drive drunk. Watch where you shoot them fireworks off. And just be a little extra careful this weekend. And I love stocks.